Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account. We're gonna continue and we know we got super lucky today with the Golden Summons. Um, we got the Awakened version of Lucius all the way up to Ascended very, very fast. And overall, I feel like we're gonna see him in a bunch of different places. You can see we've already scooped up another 9,000 diamonds out of all the events and everything that are going on. And players are already running Lucius in a couple different game modes. So we know he is going to be one to build out. And again, Curse Rom, Nightmare Corridor, Treasure Scramble. I'm going to see him probably a lot of gameplay in there. But today we want to pick up some free loot, go over a couple different things that are coming down the pipeline. Now, the first of all, the event. So we had the Isle of Gold and there has been a ton of different combinations of loot. So overall in the Isle of Gold, I scored about 14,000, almost 15,000 diamonds, which is absolutely crazy. A lot of comparisons were coming up from the 2024 version or the 2023 version to the 24, and it is astronomical, the difference. Now we also do have the lingering aroma. I hopped in here, I did my dailies. Now, of course, for this, we are looking at red chests. Now overall, when you kind of break it down and with the heroes going to a plus 40 signature item, it seems like red chests are gonna be the variety to get in here. Now I, before this, I always got elemental cores, but again, it seems like red chests just because of the release of the plus 40 signature items that it is driving the value of red chests kind of through the roof because you need a ton of them, especially when you get to that 32 to kind of that 37 build within the signature items that it's very imperative that you do get them built. Now this is gonna be my shameless plug for the True Love Vow. Right now we are sitting at zero roses. As we get some roses in here, guys, um, I'm gonna try to re return any roses that I can get, but you can see they're already at 201,000 roses. We haven't even been able to get them. These are purchases. These are purchases only at this point because we haven't been able to get those out of the, the um, Twisted Realm. But you think of 201,000, even going in and looking at our event deals, this is where the event gets kind of crazy. And I know I got a lot of comments on this one because if we're looking here, there's 120,000 roses. They're at 210, so we're already dropping hundreds of dollars in here. And it has literally been up for, I think like two hours at this point, uh, about two hours when I'm recording this video. So kind of crazy that, yeah, these packs are gonna go in there and these packs are gonna be super, super impressive. Now the special event deals, I'm gonna pick one or two of these up just because not only the roses, but I also wanna get some of the sweet syrup. So we're gonna go in there, and again, I know we picked up some diamonds last time, but I'm gonna pick up the $1, the $5, and that's exactly where we're keeping it, the rest of these. And you'll notice right off the bat, especially here, that it is 99, 99, 99. There's a cheaper 24, 49, and then all 99 bundles in here, and even $100 for 120 chests is kind of insane to think of the cost that we have in here. But this is all we're spending, that's it, we're done. Those are the um, the roses that we're gonna have. So again, I'm gonna try to exchange anything that we can with the roses that we're getting out of different events. And then of course, we got a bunch of syrup, but we also have the ability in there to try to get some furniture. That's what we're looking for in the, in the um, wishing ship is getting these furniture. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to do another pull, but we're trying to get these mythic furniture scrolls. Now we are talking a lot about the, the return that we get from building out the new beast, from building out the new heroes. Now looking here, now we did get our new beast, which means 25, 25, that's 50. There's 100, there's 150, there's what, 250, 350, and then of course we get that animated frame or animated avatar right there, which is awesome. So because we're at beast resonance 18, and you can do this a lot lower, even if you look here, here's 15, 12 is gonna be the baseline of where you do wanna build these um, these beasts out to. This is gonna be the baseline. Then there's gonna be a few that you're building to 18. Once you do get the key beast up to 18, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna continue going down the line, building them to 18 until you get to 18, which of course is gonna return you, like we've seen right here, a couple hundred resources overall, which is impressive. Now, of course, building out the awakened version of Lucius, we get some free Stargazer cards out of there, which is awesome to see. Some resource chests, but we also do get right here, boom, our second animated avatar. Now, the thing to remember and why I think it's kind of insane that people go crazy um, for the frames is you can only have one frame. That is right. At a time, you can only wear one animated avatar. You can only, um, only have one frame on there, meaning that when you're going in there and you're building out a ton of different things, or spending a ton, I know it's the whales that are buying it, but for everyone else, you can only still wear one frame. 
Now we did put 300 red chests into Lucius when we were building him. This is awesome with our growth bundle that we get out of the advanced ship because this is returning 25 red chests right off the bat, which means it is only costing us 275 red chests to actually take the newer heroes up to that ascended version and also adding the signature item. Now we are getting another 2000 poke coins back right there because of the furniture. And unfortunately we're not at the point to get the engraving up a little bit higher. Now, of course, with the tank, we built the tank up with a little bit more furniture. So we're getting another 2000 poke coins. This is the reason why a lot of players are really focusing on one, the desired hero summons to actually build these out a lot faster. And also two, we're having a see and seeing a really big impact with the newer heroes with the power creep. Now, the thing also to remember with heroes like Gavis, the Awaken um, Celestial that we had, is we don't know if Eugene is coming. That is a big question mark. Are we going to have this animated avatar um, of Eugene ever? Is there going to be a point because they gave us for free? I'm assuming we're not going to get anything for, for Eugene at any point, which kind of stinks because I would love to see the animated Eugene right up here. I think it would be very cool. Now, of course, the Mystic Star Zone is going to be up very shortly. We have 20 hours for the matchmaking. Then I believe it is a day before we actually get in there to get our rewards. But remember as well, the new beast is up, which means you can do the little bit of the exchange in here. This exchange, personally, some players say it is very worth it. Um, I consider it to be worth it for the one secret spice. Beast Rearing and the Snowbound Warcry, I put the guide up a little bit earlier. Make sure you're running through this and you are doing this as soon as possible because the faster that you can go through here, make progression, the better it's going to be. Now, Treasure Scramble as well, go ahead and set your teams. Make sure you have these set because this is the selection of the Treasure Commander. So if you are a whale going in here, but I already have this set, I already have my teams all set, so we are ready to rock and roll. Hoping that the AFK guys put out a um, new guide for the new version of the Treasure Scramble so we can cover that, but it is really, really intense to see. Wish Finder is done, Gift of Time is done, Cry of Glory is done, which means again, we have new events that are coming down the pipeline, including the new Voyage of Wonder, Temple Rift is opening up a lot more, Bonneful Trials are up, the Misty Valley, we have a lot that is going on, and we also do, I believe, have another new code, if I remember correctly, I believe, and I'm gonna try to pull it up on my left screen over here, um, that there is another AFK code that I seen come up a little bit earlier today. They've been kind of feeding them. It is AFK new 2020, no, that's not it. That's the old one. Let me scroll down. It is love uh, 214, 2114. Love 2114, it looks like, is the new code. That is going to yield you some chests. It's going to give you a couple more diamonds in there. So really cool. Thank you for uh, sharing that. I believe it was Ciro over on Discord that shared it. And it looks like, yeah, love 2014. So L-O-V-E 214. I apologize. It is love 214. Read it from a distance, can't see very well because I'm getting old, but that's beside the point. Um, building out Lucius a little bit further, again, getting a lot more resources out of there. The Oak Inn, we're gonna hop in. We're up to 11,000, so we did summons hours ago, used all of our poke coins. We're at 11,000 poke coins already, so definitely getting some more build out of there, and Lucius is already at five. Wanna see if we can pull a couple more mythic pieces out of here. And then, of course, I'm gonna save my beast um, I'm going to save my baits right now just to see exactly what, what comes. So there's another piece for Valkyrie. We have another card right here. Again, power leveling to build Lucius up to see exactly where he is going to be. Now, again, a lot of players have said survivability issues. We know that that's been noted. Um, we have been seeing that. But overall, in different game modes, he's going to be effective. And we know he's going to be effective. He's an awakened hero just like we've seen before. Don't know exactly where he's going to fall in the tier list, but only time will tell with that exactly where we do see this hero. Now, we're going to use our diamonds because we're continuing trying to get some more copies. We need three more copies of Lucius out of here. Pulled up 20 cards. We're going to go ahead and farm the towers if we can. Also have a summon right there with the 9,000 diamonds that we pulled. With the code, the love 2014 we could probably pull a couple more diamonds and do some more summons. Fingers crossed, we can get lucky with another copy. Just some loot on that one. Second one is just some loot. Can we pull at least one? Just some more resources. We have 4,200. Maybe it's going to be a solo. Maybe it's going to be a single in this one. And we're just putting everything we have into this. All the diamonds that we're picking up. We know Malkyrie is very, very close. 
We have what, four more summons and we have to be close to getting that copy. It's gotta pop up a copy pretty soon. Maybe our last one again, maybe not. Unfortunately, it's not. Time Emblems, we're at 164 again. We're just gonna kind of save those. As much as I would love to kind of double back and go through and um, just burn those through, it looks like they gave us a VIP code too. There's another VIP code, very cool. I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna bring. Let me actually pause this and we'll pop in those two codes and see what we get. All right, so there we go. We popped in both those codes. I just used my exclusive VIP code, which gave me 20 scrolls, so very nice, 20 common scrolls. And then we did get a chest, so this is gonna yield us a couple more red chests out of there. That was out of the VIP code. And then this is the other code, which is love214. It is gonna yield us another thousand diamonds. Maybe that is gonna be the one that is gonna give us the ability to pull that awakened version of Lucius. Fingers crossed, guys, that we're gonna see it. And nope, in the final one, it is not another copy. We'll go ahead, we'll pop those open. Look at the resources. We have a ton of resources. Leveling is continuing in here. We're making a ton of progression. These, of course, are from our daily chest, so we get some red chests right there. This one, the reward chest, we're gonna go for red chests. This one, again, red chests, we're gonna go for some cores. I'm gonna pick up some shards. Boom, there we go, a lot more loot. And this is every day, guys. Every day we are farming up the loot. Let me see if we actually pulled up, because we have a couple common scrolls in there, if we could pull something out of there, but we also do have two stones that I bought out of the shop, giving us Nothing but recycled food, couple rare stones right there. And then of course we do have two summons, maybe, just maybe as we continue. And look, we got a couple more diamonds in there out of those chests that we could pull something good out of here. Maybe another elite, maybe nothing at all. One card on the table, which you know what, let's go in and we'll build out. We'll, we'll continue the push. And there were some diamonds I seen right there. We'll continue the push of the faction card with the Wilders and a copy of Gorvo, and look, yeah, Belinda and Diamonds. That's a good sign, guys. No, it's not, because we didn't get one. That's okay, after the luck we got today, I'm not too really, not really too uh, concerned with it, but we'll go ahead with our recycle, continue working down these heroes, and recycling them over. So we got a new code, we have a lot going on, super excited to build out Lucius. Again, we're just gonna get him up to that, um, get him up to the one star, that way we can go ahead and throw some gear on him. I'm gonna have to work and get, open up some of those chests, go ahead and max them out with those tier four gear. Three more pieces of furniture, he's gonna be done. Once we get the engraving, we almost have the mats for him. Gonna have to see if we're gonna use this and take this up a little bit higher. Again, it's gonna be a matter of time before we find exactly where he's gonna be used. But all right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.